Ladies and gentlemen, it is that time once again. Not too long ago, the Kansas City Chiefs unveiled and received their new Super Bowl 57 championship ring. And that means my old video is now outdated. So with the success of my last video, I thought it'd be a great idea to revisit all 57 of these NFL championship rings and once again, rank them from worst to best. This video will be better than the previous video as now we have an extra ring to rank. You guys corrected and informed me on many details of the previous ring so we have more information to go off of. And overall, I feel like the qualities of my videos have improved. Additionally, on my last video, I received a lot of comments that were saying how people prefer the older rings because they're more practical to wear and they give a more classy feel. Compared to the newer rings which are insanely large and extremely gaudy, which I can completely understand. But in my personal opinion, I actually do prefer the newer rings and the vibrance and beautiful arrangement of the newer diamonds. So obviously, my opinion could be much different than the opinion of a lot of yours if you're looking for that more classical approach. So that being said, come along for the ride as we rank all these 57 Super Bowl rings from worst to best. And once again, guys, you know the drill. Before we get started, make sure to check out all the other videos on my channel. If you enjoy sports, I know for a fact that you will enjoy my channel as I cover things across all four major sports in the U.S., along with some soccer. So definitely consider subscribing, leaving a like on the video, but enough of me talking. I know you guys are eager to hear these 57 rings all ranked. Now this time coming in last place at number 57, we have the Super Bowl IX Pittsburgh Steelers ring. I legitimately think this is the blandest ring that we see out of all 57, and even though it does feature black in the center, some Steelers yellow would help a lot. But once again, this is one of the older rings, so ring design was nowhere near its peak. At number 56, we have the first Super Bowl ring to ever do it, the Packers Super Bowl I ring. Now in my last rings video, this actually placed in last, but I guess I'm starting to appreciate the design a little bit more, especially the globe outline in the background signifying world champions. And I've come to appreciate it a little more than the Steelers ring. Once again, it is the oldest ring ever made, so it's only going to get you so far. At 55, we have the Steelers Super Bowl X ring. Now this is actually the first Super Bowl ring to feature the Lombardi Trophy on the front, and it looks very nice. The two diamonds in the center represent the Steelers winning back-to-back -back Super Bowls, but if I were to give a complaint to this ring, it would be that the center seems pretty smushed into the center of the ring. The text actually takes up the majority of this ring, and I feel like it's a much better design approach when the subject or subjects in the center take up the main portion of the front. At 54, we have the Jets Super Bowl III ring. It has a very vibrant, light turquoise green on the front, which I do think clashes a bit with the gold background, but that being said, the football in the center with the brilliant diamonds look awesome. At 53, we have the Dolphins Super Bowl VIII ring. I really enjoy the representation of the color with the dark turquoise in the background and the two bold diamonds in the center signifying the Dolphins back-to-back -back Super Bowl wins. But one-upping this Dolphins ring at number 52 is the Super Bowl VII Dolphins ring coming in from the previous year. I prefer the symmetrical nature of the one diamond in the center surrounded by the stadium design of all the diamonds surrounding it. Not to mention this was the ring of the 72 Dolphins, the only team in NFL history to go undefeated throughout the regular season and the postseason. And because of that, they have an awesome touch. The 16 smaller diamonds represent their 16-0 record throughout the regular season and the playoffs before the championship. And then obviously the one central diamond is their Super Bowl victory. I love when teams go out of their way to deliver these Easter eggs to their fans. At 51, we have the Packers Super Bowl II ring. I really enjoy the rustic design of this ring. The font and the detailing on the outside border just look amazing. And I love the dark green color in the background, as well as the three diamonds in the center that represent the three Packers championships in a row, the year before the first Super Bowl and Super Bowls 1 and 2. Cracking the top 50, we have the Giants Super Bowl 25 ring. There's two diamond-shaped footballs in the center representing the two Super Bowls that the Giants have won at this point, and I really like the blue color in the background. I just wish this ring felt a little less elongated because you look at the football and that is a very skinny football. And that also includes the numbers on the side representing 1990. Those feel like very skinny numbers. And if they flattened them out a bit, it would look much better. At 49, we have the 49ers Super Bowl 16 ring. A very blingy ring to say the least as the center football is crammed with diamonds. There is a lot of 49er gold on the border. However, I wish they implemented some 49er red as well, but it is a good looking ring. 
At number 48, we have the Steelers Super Bowl 14 ring. Now this ring actually features some very interesting textures, as you can see that on the sides of the ring and also behind the diamonds. Now obviously the four diamonds in the center represent the four Super Bowl rings from the Steelers, so this is one of those boast rings, and I think it's done pretty well. At number 47, we have the Giants ring from Super Bowl 21. This was the first ring that the Giants won, and they have the Lombardi trophy right down front in the center, surrounded by the Giants blue. Simple, but it gets the job done. At 46, we have the Washington Redskins ring from Super Bowl 17. Now this is very similar to the 49ers ring we saw a couple placements ago, except this design improves on it by adding some actual team color. And yes, I know there is gold on the other ring, but it's used mostly for the border and not actually a 49ers team color, so the Redskins do one-up them in this area. At number 45, speaking of the 49ers, we have their ring from Super Bowl 24. I really like the diamond array of the four diamonds in the center, it looks great, the placement is beautiful, and I really like the rustic border theme and font. Once again, I would love to see some 49ers red, but the placement of these diamonds are really well done. At number 44, we have yet another 49ers ring, and this is their ring from Super Bowl 29. Now here they have all five of their Lombardi trophies, and I love the execution of all of them just going straight up across the front. But you know what I'm going to say, I wish there was some Niners red, but I can't complain when these Lombardi designs look really well done. At 43, surprise, surprise, we have another 49ers ring, and you can just see where their dynasty is occurring as all these rings are placing around the same spot. Even though there's less Lombardi trophies, less bragging rights on this ring, I do prefer the original design. The three Lombardis look less cluttered than the five, and I actually feel like the detailing on them is much better, and I enjoy the touch of the diamond right in the heart of the first Lombardi trophy. At number 42, yes, you guessed it, we have another 49ers ring, and this is their Super Bowl 19 ring. Just by personal preference, I prefer these over the other 49ers rings. I love the two giant Lombardis in the center, and I feel like the text on them is very detailed, and I appreciate that. All these 49ers rings are around the same level because none of them feature the team red, and they all kind of have similar themes just in different arrangements, and I think this one comes out on top. At 41, we actually have a ring that's considerably newer than all the rings that we mentioned. This is the Tampa Bay Buccaneers ring from Super Bowl 37. Yes, it does look like a good ring, but when you consider the time it was made, you would think they would put a little design, and there's absolutely no call-out to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers team on the front of this ring. It's pretty much just a diamond-filled football with the Lombardi in the center, and I will say the Lombardi is beautifully crafted. However, just with how new it is, you'd expect them to have some innovative design that incorporates the team better, but it still is better than the previous rings mentioned. At 40, we have the Cowboys ring from Super Bowl 28. Now think of the 49ers ring mentioned previously with the rhombus shape, except this one is just simply better with a diamond border and the blue coloring, actually showing some team primary color. At 39, we have a ring that is extremely good for its time, and we have the Kansas City Chiefs ring from Super Bowl 4. I love the vintage looking font and border, the red in the center is beautiful, and the football shaped diamond is wonderful as well. At 38, we have the Redskins ring from Super Bowl 22. The two diamonds in the center, as well as the two Lombardis on the outside of the ring, mark their two Super Bowl championships, and I love the maroon colored diamonds really representing the team color here. In the next three positions, we have all Raiders rings. So at number 37, we have their ring from Super Bowl 15. This was the second out of their three rings, which you can see by the two larger diamonds in the center surrounded by the football. I just love the clean black and silver design, obviously representing the Raiders colors, but it looks great on a ring. At 36, we have the Raiders first ring from Super Bowl 11. I have no idea why, but I slightly prefer this over the previous ring, and I think it's because of the smooth colored background. It just looks more clean and open. At 35, we have the Raiders' latest ring in Super Bowl 18. Combine the best aspects of the previous two rings and include the fact that you have three giant diamond-shaped footballs, do tier three rings, and it comes out with the best Raiders ring to date. At 34, we have the St. Louis Rams ring from Super Bowl 34. I wish they used some of the Rams dark blue or maybe even included a logo instead of just the text Rams, but I do appreciate what this ring does with its gold coloring and the fact that they turned the gateway arch, which is a major attraction in St. Louis, and they used that to actually create the shape of the football and the logo. And of course, you have the beautiful Lombardi diamond right behind the word Rams. At 33, we have the Steelers ring from Super Bowl 13. I really enjoy how they repurpose the hypocycloids, which is what the shape on the Steelers logo is called, into diamond placeholders. Really crafty and it makes up for the lack of color. At 32 we have the Packers Super Bowl 31 ring. 
Wish they could have used some green here, but the Packers logo is very well done, and I love the formatting of this ring with the giant words, World Champions. As bonus points, if you look on the curve of the G, there are 12 diamonds representing the then 12 championships the Packers had, and they still hold the record for the most NFL championships in history. And then the three diamonds in the center of the G represent how three of those championships are Super Bowl wins. At number 31, we have the Ravens Super Bowl 35 ring. Now I feel stupid, but for some reason last time when I made the video, I did not realize the design behind the logo was actually a football field. I don't know how I did not realize that. Thank you to my viewers for pointing that out. And now that I realize this, this ring has gone up on my rankings, and I've come to appreciate the craftsmanship of the Ravens logo itself a little more. Our next three placements are all Cowboys rings, and coming in at number 30, we have the Super Bowl 12 Cowboys ring. I like how they have the two Cowboy stars behind the two diamonds representing their second Super Bowl win. And overall, it's a very clean ring. At 29, we have the Super Bowl 27 ring from the Cowboys. I wish there was some detail on the ring that signified that they have three championships. But nonetheless, the design of this ring is amazing. You have the Cowboy star in the center with another Cowboy star shaped diamond within that star. Along the blue outline, the football shaped diamond background. There's a lot of layers to this ring, but they all deliver. At 28, we actually have the oldest Cowboys ring, and this is the Super Bowl 6 ring. This ring is aging magnificently. It still looks beautiful despite being only the sixth ring to ever be made. The diamonds seem extra shiny on this ring and the beautiful blue cowboy star in the background is perfect. They knocked this ring out of the park. At number 27, we have the Super Bowl 32 Broncos ring. I really enjoy the beautiful Broncos logo in the center and I like how they gave it an orange eye. But as far as major aspects on the ring, that pretty much is it, and I feel like the font and the logo could be a bit sharper, but don't worry Broncos fans, your next ring delivers much more. At 26, we have another Cowboys ring, and this is from Super Bowl 30. They really went all in for this design. The five sections of the star and the five footballs around the star obviously representing their five Super Bowl rings at this point, and man, I absolutely love the design. It's just visually pleasing, symmetrical. I love how the footballs are in between the points of the star, making it all feel kind of hugged in. The design is wonderful, and if there was some color, this ring would also be much higher. Entering the top 25, we have the Bears in their Super Bowl 20 ring. This is one of the more uniform and clean rings you'll see. The Bears logo in the center looks really nice. Wish there was some orange thrown there, but we do have the navy blue featured behind the Bears logo, which is really nice. The diamond in the center of the C, and the font looks awesome. At number 24, we have the Patriots Super Bowl 38 ring. This was their second championship in three years, as you can see with the two Lombardis behind the logo. I wish the logo was a bit bigger because it is very tiny on this ring, and I wish this ring wasn't as weirdly shaped. It has a weird, long, oblong rectangle shape to it, but I will say there are some design concepts such as the stacked diamonds that I do appreciate in a design. At 23, we have the Giants ring from Super Bowl 42. Now, unlike that insane action-packed Super Bowl, this ring is pretty underwhelming. It actually has the least amount of color featured on any of these rings, and it kind of gives off an unfinished feel. That being said, the actual design of the ring is really nice to look at with the Giants logo at the bottom and their three Lombardis behind it. If they just incorporated some blue or even red, this ring would be so much higher. At 22, we have another Patriots ring, and this is from Super Bowl 36. The first ring of the franchise, there's the Lombardi trophy behind the beautifully crafted logo on this ring, as well as the design in the background is actually meant to represent a football field. Overall, a simple ring, but it does get the job done. At 21, we have an extraordinary ring for its age. This is the Colts Super Bowl V ring. Despite it being made 52 years ago, this design is beautiful. It's the first ring to feature a logo on the front, and the logo is done beautifully, with a beautiful diamond in the center of the Colts horseshoe, and blue sapphires inside of the horseshoe. This ring definitely survives the test of time and looks magnificent. We're now entering our top 20, and kicking it off, we have the Patriots ring from Super Bowl 39. The three boasting Lombardi trophies behind the logo look nice, and this ring has a very interesting shape, with the bulk of it being the shape of a football and the world champion text attached to the outside. And I actually dig it. I really enjoy the shape. It's something new, creative, and it works out well. At number 19, we have the Redskins Super Bowl 26 ring. A really creative design here as they actually don't feature any primary logo. Instead, they feature two feathers that are commonly worn by Native Americans back in the day, and it looks simply amazing, with the three giant diamonds in the center representing their three rings. An absolutely creative design, and it looks awesome. At 18, we have the Ravens Super Bowl 47 ring. 
A standard design, yet it's very clean. The Ravens logo looks great here, and I enjoy how it perfectly sticks out with the beautiful silver diamond background. They stick to a simple formula, yet it works out. Just one upping this ring is the Colts Super Bowl 41 ring. I like the logo a little bit better on this ring and the symmetric nature of it just looks beautiful and I enjoy how they incorporated the Lombardi trophy to be sticking out from inside of the logo. At number 16 we have the Saints Super Bowl 44 ring. They keep it very simple but it just looks so clean and sharp with the primary color being the Saints gold scattered with the common white diamonds that we see and it just looks really well. The logo being perfectly centered with a diamond right in the middle is great and there's really not much more to go off of this ring. At 15, we have the Broncos Super Bowl 33 ring. This is leagues ahead of the ring that only came out the previous year. With the back-to-back -back rings, it was a wonderful idea to have racing Broncos, obviously the two of them signifying the two rings, and they just improve everything upon the last ring they made. The Broncos look sharper, the font is better, and overall it's a brilliant idea and it looks great. At 14, we have the Super Bowl 49 ring for the Patriots. Just like the Ravens and Colts logo, they follow the simple formula of simple white diamond background, colorful logo in the center with the Lombardis behind, and I think this one is the best just due to the bragging rights they have and how jam-packed with diamonds it is. At 13, we have the Steelers Super Bowl 40 ring. I like how they have the logo in the center of the ring with a diamond outline, and I also really enjoy the five Lombardis and, as extra bonus points, they have the Roman numerals of each Super Bowl they won behind each Lombardi trophy, which I think is a really nice touch. The rest of the ring looks awesome as well, as well as the black stone background that's behind all the main features. At number 12, we have the Giants Super Bowl 46 ring. There's a lot of major improvements from this ring than the previous ring mentioned on this list, as now they actually feature some of their blue color behind the logo in the center and the sapphire circle on the outside of the ring. Also, I like how all four of their Lombardi trophies are facing inwards towards the ring, giving a nice symmetrical look. Just missing out on the top 10, we have the Packers Super Bowl 45 ring. There's the beautiful Packer green in the center, surrounded by a gold outline, obviously representing the yellow. And in addition, the rest of this ring just looks perfect, with the four footballs representing the four Lombardis they have facing inwards, once again, just like the Giants logo. And similar to their last ring, inside the G, there are 13 diamonds, representing the 13 total championships they have, which is the most in NFL history. Entering our top 10, we have the Steelers Super Bowl 43 ring. One of the more interesting ring shapes that you'll see, every single layer and shape is designed into a football shape. You have the six giant diamonds representing the league leading six Super Bowls that they have, and you have the Steelers logo and a football shape in the center with a beautiful blue, red, and yellow diamond. I love the creativity here, and even though it's a bulkier ring, it really pays off in my opinion. At number nine, we have the Patriots Super Bowl 51 ring. It has the five beautiful Lombardi standing behind a nicely crafted Patriots logo, and I really like the smooth blue background, and I love when teams utilize that design strategy. Also, I like the shape of the ring overall. Not to mention, this ring includes a troll to all Falcons fans out there when it includes 283 diamonds, obviously representing the 28-3 lead that the Falcons blew in that Super Bowl. Absolutely genius Easter egg thrown in there. At number 8, we have the Chiefs ring from Super Bowl 54. The custom cut rubies both within the KC and the background of the Chiefs and Lombardis looks great. It really pops in this ring and I appreciate that. The logo itself looks awesome, as well as the two Lombardis behind it representing the two Super Bowl wins for the team. I also enjoy how all three primary colors of the team are used and mix and matched well on this ring. At number 7 we have the Seahawks Super Bowl 48 ring. While yes there could be a bit more color, the color that is used is used well. The beautiful green emerald in the eye of the Seahawk is the highlight of this ring for me. Not to mention the blue outline of the logo, which looks great by the way, and the blue ring of diamonds around the outside. Not to mention on the side of the ring, there is a nice little Seattle skyline, which looks great, and on the front of the ring, there's a flag with a number 12 representing the 12th man. At number 6, we have the Patriots ring from Super Bowl 53. Ironically, this is their sixth championship as well, as you can see the six giant Lombardis in the background. This probably is the most bulkiest ring out of all of them, but I think it's done perfectly. It's just an overload of diamonds, and it is one giant flex. They went all out to see how many diamonds they could fit on this ring, somehow managing to pack over 420 diamonds on this single ring. In addition, this is also just a very visually appealing ring, with the blue diamonds on the bottom and the logo that pops really well. Cracking our top 5, we have the Broncos Super Bowl 50 ring. 
This is one of the better looking logos itself you'll ever see on a ring as the Bronco looks amazing with the blue outline, the orange eye and mane. The giant golden 50 in the center looks great and the three symmetrical Lombardi trophies look awesome. This ring is magnificently crafted and it looks great. At number four, we have the brand new Super Bowl 57 Chiefs ring. First of all, the outside is really well done with the three Lombardi trophies, a nicely crafted Chiefs logo, and I love all these specialized cut rubies within the KC and the background, similar to their past ring. The outside of this ring looks just as good as their previous ring, however, the addition of opening up the ring and using the ring itself as a pendant to hook onto a chain or whatever you please is a wonderful aspect. If you watch my NBA rings video, this is very similar to the functionality of the Milwaukee Bucks ring where you can take off the cover and use it as a chain emblem pretty much. A super neat touch and additionally there is the Arrowhead Stadium inside of the ring once you take the cap off and on the field there's a certain amount of Lombardi trophies depending on how much each player has won. So for example someone like Sky Moore will have one Lombardi trophy on the field while players like Mahomes and Kelsey will have two. Earning the bronze at number 3 we have the Super Bowl 52 Eagles ring. Now this is a fan favorite for a lot of people as in my opinion this actually is the best looking ring from an outward appearance. The front of this ring is spectacular. It follows actually a very simple design pattern, yet the 17 green sapphires on the front, which represent the total amount of wins they have that season, look awesome. They pop so well against the silver diamond background, and the Eagles logo itself looks amazing as well with the Lombardi trophy behind it. This ring is just pure eye candy and it's my favorite ring to look at. However, these top two rings just have more functionalities with their amazing appearance that do put them over the top. And that is apparent at our number two placement, we have the Tampa Bay Buccaneers Super Bowl 55 ring. The outside of this ring is beautiful. We have all these pristine white diamonds with actually a gold background behind it, which you don't really see too, too often on these rings. And additionally, the two Lombardi trophies that the Buccaneers have, as well as the beautiful logo in the center, with the football being its own orange diamond, which is a really nice touch. But this ring really shines on the interior as well as it features a super realistic recreation of Raymond James Stadium. In my opinion, this stadium design is much more detailed and accurate compared to the Chiefs stadium design. So they really went up and beyond with this interior design. And not to mention the diamond on the field, which represents where the ceremony was held after the Super Bowl. But at number one, still my favorite ring. This was number one for me last time, and I still am just in awe at how beautifully detailed and layered this ring is. We have the Super Bowl 56 LA Rams ring. So the outside of this ring looks absolutely amazing. The Rams logo, both using blue and yellow sapphires, looks great. The one Lombardi trophy in the background signifying the one ring they have in LA, and the nod to the ring that they have in St. Louis due to the fact that they have two palm trees, representing both championships they have. Also, the palm trees themselves just look really nice and fit in well with the LA theme. The front of the ring is magnificent along with the gold ring outside all the main features. But to add on, and there's plenty to add on with this ring, the frame of the ring looks exactly like the shape of SoFi Stadium as you can see the outside pillars when you look at the stadium in real life and you can actually look through the other side of the ring. It's a perfect replica. In addition, when you take the ring cap off, you can actually see the field of SoFi Stadium and it was made with real turf used during the Super Bowl. The field looks amazing. It has all the decals for the Super Bowl, both end zones, and is just a really good replica, quality copy. It's not like they rushed through this. They made sure every detail is present. And on the underside of the ring, you have part of the football that was used during the game. So all these little gimmicks and souvenirs from the actual Super Bowl present in this ring, along with its overall presentation, is why, in my opinion, this ring is still the greatest NFL ring in history. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys did enjoy. As always, if you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Feel free to check out my latest rings video to see how my opinions have changed and my other up-to-date sports ring videos as well. Once again, feel free to check out my channel because I know if you enjoy sports, you will enjoy my channel. And with all that said, guys, thank you for watching. And I will see you guys in the next Heaps video.